Alright, so this is part of a longer stream, if you're watching this later. Um, I'm just chilling with some cards. It's a lazy Sunday. So I'm gonna... Do I want to do Ghost deck again? I'm not a fan of that one. That one just didn't seem that cool. This deck, I didn't know how to feel about it, so let's just... Let's go with this one. So, at this blind, it's just like, find... I know it's kind of annoying. The, not, not a rare joker, because that you might not necessarily have the money. Next patch, though, that's going to be different. There'll be less of this next patch, that's the thing. The quality of life stuff that I've read, it, it makes sense. It's good. The biggest change is just when you skip the blind, like, where it says it's gonna give you, like, a foil joker in the shop, that joker's free. Which, yeah, perfect. That's a good one. Alright. Just anything that sets up a playstyle. So, I mean, this deck is interesting. Oh, okay. Because you can set up... It's easier to set up stuff like straights, flush, four in a row. Because you have more hand space. Well, these are all free, so... Huh. On the topic of setting up playstyles. Ooh. But that's okay. So this is going- there's no multiplier with what I'm doing, but it means flushes are insanely easy to set up. Um, I am just gonna still play flush, because it makes sense to do so. It's just a lower value flush, that's all. Not- do not be afraid just because it is debuffed. So, you know, this credit card thing's gonna go. Just play these. all that and let's empower this playstyle even more. Just 
create two tarot cards. Planet card, destroy two cards, don't want to destroy cards. Do this. Nice. I'll take that. Not a high temperance, but I'll take the money. <laughs> I mean, it's gonna, this is going to be pretty chill. I just need something that gives me multiplier. Because as strong as flushes are, they're not. Three, seven. Yeah, there's only even numbers here. There's a particular joker that I'm hoping for. This one. Oh no. I forgot that this has one less joker space. Okay. Well, let's see, let's see where this road takes me. I don't want to level down full house, but that being said, that's not bad. Thirty times three. Hang on, what's the flush worth? Flush is better. straight but it's not in the cards it keeps giving me even numbers like I'm just getting bad hands no but that's gonna level it down yeah right you don't want that this is fine. Uh, it's probably the 
best hand I can manage right now. I don't have any cards that give multiplier. This is scary. If I don't find something after this round, this isn't going to survive. Poker hat. No. But it's not a base multiplier. Um... I think this is this is the way. First time I play it doesn't hit, but then the second time. Okay. Still not super long term. Maybe two bonus cards. Nah. Okay, no black cards. I'm not going to play a strong hand this time. Because the first one's not going to hit that hard. Okay. This is the hand to want to line it up on. It's probably as good as that's going to get. blind we have to skip. It was almost a straight flush, but the problem is it distinguishes it as a different hand, so it's like, this wouldn't work. Thank 
do. Thank you. <laughs> okay. A little, little better. This is going to be clinch. Oh. This is a problem. Because my hand, my, the hand is stronger. Yeah, this is a problem. I don't get a second hand. Alright, there's a steel joke. That's steel joker. This is annoying. Jack I need a ten. Deliver the ten, please. No. Alright, this is the best I can do. Hold on. This is the best I can do. It's not gonna do it. Yeah. Stupid needle! There was nothing I could do about that. I couldn't reroll the boss. Is a joker, sure. Or. Ah, there you go. Huh. Okay. Create some more tarot cards. Lucky ace. Wild card ace. Try for a two pair build. That's simple enough to line up with this. This is, a, this is exactly what I wanted. I was like, a square joker and a two pair build. Okay. This is, act this is actually a setup, like right away. And early as well, that's the other thing. So this can scale. Perfect. That's never, well, I guess never say never, but like. With what I have, it, it's going to be inactive, so... For now, there's no harm in keeping it. But yeah, this is... I just have to stay the course, just keep playing. Those numbers will get bigger and bigger. Beautiful. Okay, there's, there's some scale. Thank you kindly. I'm gonna buy that, like, planet card thing.
Hooper. Hooper. <laughs> this is this is becoming a build. I'm buying this, so then we get more planet cards. Which will hopefully then allow me to scale the two pair. Two pair. There are a couple of bosses that would be bad. We need to get like the ability to reroll the boss line. The one being no repeat hands, and I guess the hand leveling down is detrimental. It's not completely disastrous. Okay, well that sucks. I'll we'll just play that. Still works. I mean, this is harmless, so... Let's get next. Nah. Unless it's a negative joker, we are not skipping blinds. I need to grow- I need to grow the square joker and I need to grow a supernova. So, is this going to go to the moon? I guess it depends how often. Definitely want to do that. That's the only time I'm going to skip a blind. It's for though that specifically. This is annoying. It's like one and four. <laughs> it's the same with the Wheel of Fortune thing. It's one and four, but I swear it's like less odds than that. Again, no. So that's three times. Four times. Yeah, one, one and four. One in the four. One in four. Um, I think we, I think we're good. I think we're okay. Stay the course. Yeah, flush. Okay, good pair. 
Not that it matters. It wasn't negative, that's the weird thing. Oh good, it's it's the, the thing that I was worried about. Okay, well... I'm gonna lose, because of this stupid boss. Because all my, all my hands do nothing. I need to line up the aces. Three of a kind. Don't overlook that. This game can be such an enormous asshole sometimes. <laughs> well, unless it's a scoring like an insane amount, that's it. <laughs> that was the boss I was worried about, and I was hoping I'd get reroll boss. I don't know if there's some form of detection where it like picks up on what you're trying to do and then sends your boss to fuck you over, but like, lately it's felt that way. But those are roguelikes in general, it's just... Sometimes you feel like the game is screwing with you. You know what? Let me just see what happens here. green deck, you don't skip. It's not going to help. It's not going to help in the slightest. Well, actually, that's not true. It probably could have helped. But early on, it's not going to help. I guess that's what I mean. In order to do that, you need just... Something to multiply it with. I'm getting a lot of full house. This one has potential. Ten four, planet eight. Ten four. Effectively, like, free steel cards. Oh, okay. Mm, that's a time. Yep. little bit of a pivot, but it should be okay. Let's see what happens. I'm 
Oh, why did I do that? It doesn't matter. Holy shit. <laughs> okay. I mean, I need something to multiply. It's a free multiplier. I can't afford it though. And it gives me the tenfold, just. Yeah. Cool. Okay, so there's no kings in this hand. Wait, because they're face down? That can't be right. that has more odd numbers. Oh, I'm an idiot. Kind of autopiloted the... Needed to keep the king. Okay, keep the king. I'm not sure about this. Basically trying to treat the king like a steel card. I mean, that's neat and all, but like, <laughs> it's not really, I don't know, I don't believe, I don't believe in this. Well, that's just, no, that's just too crazy, like I've, I've tried that card at I can't see any reality where that card would get you a win. Just too erratic. I don't think this is set up well.
I've got something going. Okay, that... This is... This is better. Now, just play red cards. It's not incredible, but it'll keep me afloat for a while. necessarily be flush either. I'm leaning towards flush because it's the easiest, but it doesn't necessarily have to be flush. We need something to scale this better. Kings. Four kings. It's impressive what it's doing. It's, it's there's no there's no scale to stop giving me the same card. Oh my god. Let's go. That's something. Uh, I would love to make a steel king. That would be insane. We'll go with the steel ace. It's a royal flush. But I have to get rid of it. Nice steel card you have there. Straight flush. <laughs> good hand, but it's just like, well, it's not going to trigger multipliers. I get the good hands and the black cards, like, unbelievable. Wow. 
well. This appears like it's the end of this run. Cool, so I have no choice but to play like something that's not going to trigger multipliers. Which if I would have known, I would have triggered the Royal Flush. Ah, uh, I mean, I get it. But again, just another... Oh, what's that you're trying to do? You have a smudge, Joker. Okay. Let's make half your cards useless. Build detection. <laughs> Build detector, destroy it. able to do this. Tens are less likely. That's a straight. Wait, where is it? No, it's not. Good, I'm not going to skip blinds. Not whilst I don't have a build. Base cards now gold. But I would assume so. Oh no, not quite. <laughs> I mean, they will be now.
What the hell? What's the harm? Small hands. Like it has to be flush or bust. Sorry. Full house or bust. Which I didn't get, so. Right, take this end of it. There's no way, like. If I don't get anything that has multiplier, I'm screwed. Ace, two, three, four, five. But even that, look at how little it's scoring. Nah, it's not worth it. Just leave it. I'm hoping with the patch, just this whole thing where you can't get a build r up and running because it doesn't give you anything that contributes to chips or multiplier, like... I think that's the one thing about this game that I, I would, like, try to... skew it. So, like, at the start, at the very least, is like... something that sets up and not just a con continuous flow of, like... Oh, um, this is just giving you money. This is just... Stuff that doesn't contribute to score, basically. Because if you get that, you're screwed. Let's see what the patch brings. This technically contributes to score, but it's like, it's not going to do much at this point. Ugh, you know what? For shits and giggles, why not? I would like to see this do something. Let me see if I can win with this insane joker. Basically, don't skip lines. That's the key to it. Don't spend money on cards. Just focus on... Strength, flush, four of a kind. Eight, flush, four of a kind, four of a kind. I mean, I would like to do a full house build. I think that's the way to go. Yeah, but... As interesting as that is, it's just not gonna survive. It's when a blind is selected, I'm gonna lose it, so there's no point to it. This, on the other hand. This, that's not gonna do anything. All right, I'm curious, let's just. Uh, 
I mean, I got a hand here, why not? So the reason I'm, like, looking at this is if it gets the... If it sinks all single suit. No. How many kings I have? I have six kings. Okay, that's good. How many eights and how many nines? No, just go with the ace. I'm trying to set it up so four of a kind is more likely. Flush. Let me try and go for four of a kind. I mean, full, I keep calling it a flush. Full house. Didn't work out. I didn't get a replacement hand. And this is going to be a throwaway hand. Not allowed, I know. tried. Can't gamble it any further. So then, at least there's no card that's a waste. Two, three, four, five. Damn, I almost got like a straight flush. What the hell? It'd be silly not to go for it. As, as my magical hand. I almost did it. Three of a kind, full house, straight past three of a kind. Oh, I should have done full house, actually. Eh, it doesn't matter. I'm 
gaff. So the top end is where all the magic happens. Thank you. I've survived longer than I thought I would with this. times 120 12 times 120 <laughs> so four of a kind is, is stronger no point. <laughs> it's just... There is no point. King. Queen or ace? Uh, what's eight? I'll go ace just in case there's like the whole base card debuff thing. The only boss that I'm fearing right now is like the one that says start with zero discards that completely wrecks my shit. Or level down the hand. It's just... It's scary. I should probably save... Face cards of debuff, yeah, so there you go. Create a copy of Jokers, destroy all other Jokers. This is just because it's funny. <laughs> it destroys it anyway, it's just like, that's funny. I mean, that's, that's the thing, it's, it's still worth lining it up, because it's just like, even if it's debuffed, who cares? Really? Really? Are we, bear are we bearing witness to what... <laughs> God. Unbelievable. Well... What have I got left? I have four aces. Let me just... How many queens? Two queens. So it's like ace could be likely. Alright, I mean three of a... 
kind, but it's, it's not bad. Just made it over the line. Yeah, I'm saving. That doesn't matter. I'm saving money. Just in case the boss is annoying. Kings. It's not gonna give me money. I oh, know, that's fine. Um don't care. Saving money. Got me further than I ever thought this would. After making fun of it. What I was due. Just cause. Yep. That's what I was worried about. Thank you. I'm gonna lose because of this boss. Annoyingly enough. Halved the power. Yeah. Fuck. Interesting. I think where I messed up was like try. I mean, I had to try. That was a thing. Like the spectral packs. Because I was trying to get the one that converts everything, well, one full hand to one number type. And that would have been insane. Because then lining up four in a row would have been trivial. Um, but it, it just didn't work out. So I missed out on like a couple of multiplier increases. I think the way to play that is, is pretty much do not skip blinds. No matter how tempting they might be, just do not do it. I mean, we're playing face cards here. I think always, always go the seal card. Wait, I, uh, I didn't go the seal card. I'm gonna get restart. <laughs> Like, some of these, the things that I, I've come across, like, they make interesting builds, but they're just never allowed to... 
get up and running. It's just, there always seems to be like some boss that is just perfectly designed to counter it. Which I guess is the nature of these games, but it feels like it's been happening a lot lately. Some of these ones, like, at the start shouldn't be allowed. Like, for example, adding an extra an extra voucher in the shop. It's like, at this point in the game, you are not going to have enough money to purchase the voucher. Unless you're playing green deck, which I guess fair, but like, still. It's super situational. So, I, I got this deck now, like, it's kind of... I was torn about it. But I see its value now, it's that it lets you set up blushes pretty easily you can hold on to cards. Would have been amazing, but no. Okay. Well, I mean, I already have the full house. Blushes, full house, straight. Just any five card plays is, is not bad to set up here. Discard, let's just do that. Cool game. That may as well. Thank you. Jeez. And plus multiplier for rank. I can't do that anyway. This is early enough that, yeah. hand is drawn face down. Of course it is. Um, let's just do it from this side. Very nice. Now from this side. Very nice again. What am I 
playing here. I guess go for a flush. No, that'll work. Didn't have to be great. Straight flush, it's not gonna happen. Um guess we can mess around a little. Mob card. Great two planet cards. Flush. Skip balls. I don't really have much of a setup here. <laughs> hey, Nate. I haven't really messed around with Eternal Jokers yet. Not that far in. But Cavendish is nice. Incidentally, that lined up. Yeah. Probably the best I can do. I just didn't want to play the two gold kings. for the abandoned deck. I think I only got a white stake on that. The deck that I seem to have problem with is like uh, the black deck for some reason. I seem to lose consistently on it. I don't know why. It's either just... I don't want to have like confirmation bias. Just because I lost doesn't mean it's because of the black deck. The black deck is difficult early games. Yeah, okay. I'm not imagining it. Um, but yeah, I haven't gone too far in this, so like I don't know about any of the super, super late game stuff, so just try to not... No spoilers, if possible, please. Though, I know the game's great. I, I love to talk about it as well, but I want to, like, you know, experience it. Hmm, I mean... This is just an insurance policy. Because I, I don't feel confident. Yeah, no. That... I think I made the right call there. Hoping for even numbers, but nothing. I probably discarded a bunch in my haste, but oh well. Hmm. 
That might work. Yep. Okay. Ugh. How many times have I played Full House? Nine. It gives the foil as well. That's the only reason I'm considering it. Gen otherwise, generally, yeah. Okay. Get out of here with that one. There we go. This will make this a little less painful. Okay, I need to line up a full house. I'm not going to stress too much about... Hang on. I guess I don't have a modified deck. Uh... I don't have to worry about evens. I should be keeping the face cards. Alright, if anything, this should go. Yeah. Okay, same thing. Now get rid of the ice. some money. house build. Take the face card. Just gonna skip the rest, it's fine. Lucky card, gold card. <laughs> thinking about it. Okay. 
Okay, that's like a little short-term fix. such a bad time to get that. Well, it's inevitable. Discard left. I tried. Should be okay, right? Yeah. And reap the benefits. So now it literally doesn't matter what I play. Well, I mean, still aim for blush and stuff, but definitely start doing some of this. Okay. 
that's what I'm talking about. Um, so much money. Basically just a full house hand. No, keep the four. Oh no, I got it. I got it. It's here. One hand type. This is kind of annoying. House again. I'm gonna lose. Just not enough of a multiplier. Just lost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two, three, four, five. Straight. Ace, two, three, four, five. Just go to pet. Gravitating towards full house here. <laughs> Early on, it's good, but I just get out of that mentality. It's not really going to help, but this this will.
Okay. Um, steel King. And then do this. Jumbo. It's the Steel Joker. Yeah, I mean, this is this is a no-brainer. Just it helps increase that. Two still kings. Well, sorry, a steel king and a king. Play the hand. Uh, I'll get rid of that. God damn it. It's full. This is a short-term solution. Fortunate that it could potentially it didn't good. Four of a kind and a full house. There's the Steel King. I don't have enough for it. Um, I mean, it's like shape ish, it'll help. T 
Two bonus cards, okay. Um, bonus tents. Scream is being less useful. This is arguably better. Okay, five cards from the left. There's the Steel King. What are the odds? One ace. Two tens. No jacks left. Alright, get rid of jacks. I don't have discards. But I do have this. I can just play it. Yeah. Well. but it could come in handy. This one's kind of past its use. That is better. Okay. Pivot to three of a kind now. Fives. Looks like there's nothing that's been altered. Okay. Hmm. It's a tough call. even, yeah, I mean, even pair, it's fine to play. At this point brings these into question.
Okay. I mean, right now, I'd say that's probably the most useful thing. By multiplier value. So I need to play even numbers. This should be at the end of the chain. triple. That's good. No, just play three cards. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As long as I'm going evens, it should be okay. That's what I was waiting for. That'll disable the twin. I lose. That boss just... Yep. Unless I get something to re-roll the boss, I lose. Annoyingly, this one... It, that should be, like, scored cards. So let's just see. Sometimes there's the the item in the shop. The, the joker that allows a boss blind to be disabled if you sell it. That's the only way I'm, I'm out of this, which is like so damn situational that it's gonna happen. I'm out of discards. Oh, I went high card that way. Just yeah, can't skip. I'm screwed.
Yeah. The only option I have is this. So now I have to pivot to flush, which is not horrible. It could still work. But it's just, it's so situational. a flush with the steel card, but I don't want to give up. Oh. That works. The pivot is real. enough to do a flush. What have I got? I don't I don't have anything. That's the answer to that. Um Yeah, I'm screwed. Well, almost. It was like a very, very slim chance I could have made it out of that, but. for that. If I buy it, I'm, it's not going to do anything, but that being said... Nah. I'm going to forgo it. It's, I think it's just going to cripple what I'm trying to do. Trying to get a straight. It's, it's just not letting me do it. At this point, a flush is easier than a straight. both to be possible. Okay, cool. If I don't discuss... Just... Mm. Better than nothing. Oh. No, nah, this is already lost. This boss kills it. 
because their discards count towards that Joker, so that Joker's never going to get off the ground here. It's so dumb, because it doesn't... Like, I'm not discarding. The game is discarding. My discard number doesn't go down. Not one of those things that, I don't know, I, I question if it's intentional or not. This is a, this is a good one. If I can guarantee growth. I like ball. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Cool. Probably a good idea just to get this as well. Almost did the wrong thing. money, so... Ah, oh, damn, that was almost a straight flush. Unless I get Swashbuckler, like, this is not a long-term play here. No discards, which... yeah... Less. 
It's like perfectly giving me one of every suit practically. It's like just short of a flush. Four, yeah. Okay, well, again, the best I can do is two pair, which it's not gonna get me over the line. Yeah, this is done. All right, one more run, and then I think I'm gonna get some food. It's a good, good blind to skip. As long as I just get another flush and it's white, we're good. All right. down an anti with repeating anti one. Answers two cards to bonus cards, okay. I need to accelerate growth. Um, maybe? Then four. Fibonacci. Stone Joker. They're conflicting play styles. One card pivot. Mm -hmm. 
Right. I mean, at this point, the 10 is probably more valuable. business. that's going to grow on its own every time. Now that doesn't matter what I play, really, as long as it's just less than three cards. I mean, even then, it's probably not going to be too useful later. Trigger in hand abilities, eh, probably not gonna work out. This one's worth opening because it can add cards. Nope. Yes. Nice. Setting up the high card pivot. Just take any. Nah. Insane. <laughs> this, this is going places. Two dollars for this card. Six. No, this is this has potential to grow. Guess pick a nine if possible. Thank you. 
case. I mean, I can discard, why not? didn't want to get locked into playing three cards or less. Thirty-five times four. It's e either way; it's the same thing. So, damn it, extra large blind. I guess I got out of the plus 20 too early. I did say that was the last one, but like, that felt bittersweet. <laughs> it's a cool build, but just couldn't get up and running. I need to get food. Nope, because I'm never going to be able to afford that. Next patch, though. Nah, just one more. It's fine. I'm kind of torn about this deck. It's, it's cool, but I think, like, the one less joker does hinder it quite a bit. So bad ending. Nah, because... I just feel like I can... I can win... One more. What is going on? Stop. Okay, that one. Um, no. It's just something that sets up a build. That's all I care about, basically. Give me a Joker at the start, or something that'll let me buy a Joker. Like that, that's fine. And then I'm content. I've just had too many, like, false starts in this difficulty because the first blind doesn't give you money and it's just like, okay, well, that's kind of rough at the start that you can't buy jokers. Same with any game that I really enjoy, it's just like, I extend it. Like Stardew, Terraria, Risk of Rain. Just anything that has been like a... Something that I keep coming back to. It's just, sometimes you want the success. It's, it's free, so it's fine. This is all gonna, also going to make the hand size ridiculously big. Okay, stone card, sure. Hey, Kara. You haven't seen this game before? It's the new roguelike addiction I have. <laughs> Look at all these cards. Okay. 
I see a full house here. Not before now, nope. This is a really, really good game. It's quickly become one of my favorites this year. I'll explain it in a minute. Because I think I'm not going to win this. Maybe. I'll see what the shop is and I'll start from scratch and you can see. Yeah, that's not going to go anywhere. Alright, so... The aim of this game is you're playing, you're identifying poker hands, right? And each poker hand has a blue value, which is how much chips it gives you, and a multiplier, which is a red value. So those two form a score. Alright? Let's start basic. If I play a king, it's a high card, it's going to give me five chips times one multiplier. And then the individual card itself is going to give... 10 chips. That makes it 15. So, on its own, there's not really a whole lot to it, right? Like you're thinking, okay, well, why is this interesting, you know? You're just identifying poker hands. So let me play this first hand. But I just needed to make 300 chips. Done. Now here's where the interesting part is, is the roguelike aspect is the jokers, which you hold up here. And they will do certain things depending on what you play. So for example here, it's like if I'm playing three of a kind, it gives plus 12 to the multiplier. So the objective is to just get numbers to go brrrr and just explode. There's also booster packs which give cards and you'll see as I go. So there you go, three of a kind. Now, it says if it contains three of a kind, so I can play three of a kind, but I've got a flush. A full house, sorry. And that counts as that. So it'll go da 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 da. And then you'll see this go ding. There. I bought this on the Switch and it's just so addictive as well. Like I'm... So tarot cards, like, will level up a particular hand, right? So I can level up three of a kind. Now that is worth more when I play it. And then there's booster packs which do certain things. So this will add a playing card. This is a spectral card. These are cool. Converts all cards to a single rank, reduces the hand size, destroy one random card, and add two random enhanced aces. So this one, because I'm doing three of a kind, probably cool to do, even though it reduces my hand size. But now I have kings. <laughs> a bunch of kings. So now look at this. Now, So now, you can do hands that don't exist in poker, such as five of a kind. Which procs the multiplier. Oh god. All cards are considered face. This is an interest. This this could go somewhere. All right, let's just let's just leave it for now. So at this point, you know, we're just three of a kind is good, but five of a kind is just that's that's the hand we want. So we'll try for five of a kind again. Or four of a kind. There's five of a kind. God. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Okay, this is a way that we can get it to scale. So this is if I play four cards, this card will increase by four in terms of how many chips. So it starts at 16. Every time I play four cards, it'll increase by four. So maybe we can do four of a kind because that's a bit easier. 
it's not as huge of a thing to set up. It scores less, but then it offers scale. There it is. And I'm, I'm okay with that. Okay. Um, no, that's not going to do anything. I'll open a Celestial Pack just in case there's like a level up for four of a kind. There's a level up for five of a kind. There's a level up for four of a kind. We want four of a kind. Starts with zero, zero discards. That's an annoying one to get. So, we're going to have to play around it. Is it possible to get five of a kind with matching suits? Yes, because there are, there are tarot cards which lets you change cards to a particular suit. Or, like, pick one card to convert it one into the other. There's stuff like uh, five flush, uh, full house flush. There's, like, ridiculous hands you can do. Can you just play four cards to level rather than discard? What do you mean? Well, so the strategy I'm going to employ here is I'm just going to play four cards. Four cards, no matter what. It'll upgrade it. But I can't discard. So, the hand will always be four cards. No matter what. That's the nice little intricacy, is like... You can play up to five cards at any given point. So, like, a little tactic you can do, if you don't have discards... Is play... The cards you're not interested in. Oh, that I discarded before. Yeah, that's true. I get what you mean. Okay, so the best I can do here is high card. Oh, thank you. Jeez, that was close. I would have been sad if this build went down the drain, but there we go. Yeah, you're right. I think I should do that to, instead of discarding. And resort to discards last. It's a good call. Huh. I haven't, I haven't gotten this one yet. For every discarded jack... Okay, so effectively what you're saying is do this. It's like a free upgrade to it, and it scores. And even if I line that up, just... But I guess the thing about that is I'm not earning as much money. That's the trade-off, but I think early on... You're right. It's worth doing to get this, like... Uh, to... A nice sizable amount. There it is. Um, I'm gonna discard Jack anyway. So then it triggers that. And now we just go. This one's not really doing anything for me. This is just like. Potentially some insanity can arise from this. So, four times if it gets four of a kind. Uh huh. Do you do you see why I'm like I'm kind of addicted to this game? Do do you see it? Oh, this is fucking insanity. Look, look at, look at this.
I'm still gonna, like, you know, opt to not go for money. You're right, because this will this will be like a nice little. <laughs> I could have done. This is almost. <sighs> I'm like lost. I'm at a loss for words. Okay. My God. Now watch it go brr. 26,000 when I do do that. When I do that. That's not that great. Given what's happening, not that great. I'm going... Oh... Ooh, that's not good. Okay, play four cards from the left. Okay. These are likely kings, but I'm gonna play them anyway. Yep, figured. I should have... I can still discard the jack. It's fine. Oh, never mind. Because of the jack multiplier, it got me over the line. Yeah, so there it is. So, power a card that lets me convert three cards to heart. Which, not useful for what I'm doing. I don't need to mess with my deck anymore. These, hang on. Try and go for like maximum Down to the last hand. That's perfect. I got three jacks to discard. Now that multiplier is 2.5. And we hit the kings. Forty-nine thousand. Give me the money. Okay. Alright, cool. Well, I've got my kings, so... Let me just play. This was an excellent suggestion, by the way. Very good suggestion. Because no matter what, like, the four kings... There is a boss that could ruin this, but I'm hoping I get, like, the ability to re-roll the boss. There is one boss that can straight up ruin what I have. Um, gonna buy that as a utility. This is better. Because this will scale. After a few hands, it, it's better. Thank you. This is a plan B. 
There are a couple of bosses that worry me, so... Play only one hand type this round. So I can't do the thing that I was doing before here. I'm not allowed. So I have to go. I have to go for the kings right away. Unfortunately, because otherwise I'm locked out of playing the kings. That's okay. Wait, the hand contained two pairs. It didn't count? Why? It didn't count. Why? It's two kings. Two pairs of kings. That's gotta be a bug. Because it procs when you play f uh, full house. That has to be a bug. Okay, so let me look at my deck here. 14 kings. I could just be funny and go 15 kings. <laughs> um. That's kind of annoying. Not gonna lie. I wish I knew that. Yeah, I mean, we want some way to upgrade, right? So I just, like, made my build weaker. Because of a dumb intricacy. to discard the jack. Okay. Well, you know. Yeah, okay, this has to go. It's not doing anything. That's really sad. And yet, I just got a replacement. <laughs> Two malt for every five. Okay, so don't spend money. Is what they're telling me now. Yep. Sure is a build. I love how it happened the moment I introduced this game. What's that? There's a game to recommend. Okay, let's give you a good build. Let's make sure that the purchase is made. recommend this game more, I know, right? Contingency. Okay, see, this is one of these bosses that I'm afraid of. So for this one, um, we're just gonna beat it. We're not gonna. We are not gonna mess around. Just... Yeah, this is why.
prop is it worth taking four malt to discard again i think it is I don't think I've gotten Square Joker to have this many chips. Again, fantastic suggestion. <laughs> to just play four cards, no matter what. Um, well, I mean, I may as well, right? Yep, I may as well. I mean, I'm just trying to see how big I can make the number go at this point, but, you know, let's not waste time. So this, this is a, this is a winning build. Steel card. Do you want to make this more crazy? Glass card, bonus cards. Give that to the kings. Steel card probably would have been better, but. Already got it. Wait, not that. Um, that. Okay, now on to the discards. I don't think this will go the extreme distance, but nevertheless, this is, this is satisfying. No, 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 no. Okay, we're good. This one's a little trickier to pull off now. There is one boss I'm dreading, and you watch it's going to be the last boss, and I'm not going to have a way out. Given how things have been going so far. That is surprising. Surprised how many like turns it took to get this set up. Earn interest for every dollar of interest I have at the end of the round. Play only one hand. Okay, that's that's an okay boss with me. I'm just worried the last boss is gonna suck. Even 
even the bad hands are kind of doing well. Like, that's the point I'm at now. Square Joker like growth has been pivotal in <laughs> what's happening right now. I've never gotten it to have this many chips. Mental. Discarding kings as well, it's just amazing. I mean let me let me push it. Let me see how far. How far this goes. Oh no, that was almost a mistake. Okay. I mean, the ideal thing is discarding all four jacks. Okay, so this is now build the perfect hand. It's already won. It's just how much has it won. No, no jacks for me, huh? Well, after this card, that's it. I mean, if I can get a bonus card, it's like it's probably I could do a little better. And no, okay, then this is it. Alright, what's the final boss? This is where I worry. Oh no, I have to sell a joker. The jack, the jack. Hit the road jack. We're fine, we're fine. I'll win. Unfortunate, but not the worst final boss it could have been. It's fine. I can't even play, like, just discard. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. I'm going to discard all four jacks in this one. What the hell? Even that is, like, at the point now where it's almost... Oh, because of the jack. That's... Surely high card can't. Holy shit, even a high... Even a high card, like, I didn't even play the four kings. God, it sucks that I have to sell this. I didn't get the ability to re-roll the boss.
All right, this is a win. We end on a high note. Finish strong. It's at 260 chips. Okay. Um, all right, now we go into discard territory. Good as it's gonna get. Play it. Pretty, pretty good. Just sucks. I can't reroll the boss. Um, yeah. It is what it is, man. It is what it is. All right. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Can I just shits and giggles, curiosity sake? It still registers, yo, it doesn't matter. It actually doesn't matter. Because the power isn't in... The power isn't in the, the score that the cards are doing. The fact that it's still scoring that without me doing anything. Okay, the thing that I'm worried about is not giving me the four kings. Give me give me the four kings. Okay, thank you. Yeah, so would this still win? This would still win, right? Still won. That's in that is insane, the fact that like it was debuffed and still, still got it. All right, let's just see how far this can go. I don't think it can go much further, but you never know. Look at these scores that I have to now, now get. So even if the face card debuff thing comes up, it doesn't matter. It straight up doesn't matter as long as I play four kings. Don't get me wrong, it sucks if it comes up. But it's not... It's not horrible. I'm going to beat the blind just by playing normal cards. I don't even need... I, I, let's just not even do anything fancy. It's just... It's because of the square joker, like, by far. That suggestion to just, just play four cards, no matter what. Don't discard. Yep. That is truly the way to do this. Okay. Right, not that. That. Okay. Do one more. Y 
Yep. Now I'm going to be playing it safe and doing using all my discards. I had that's a five flush. Look at that. Flush five. It makes... okay. Creates two planet cards, must have room. For the price, sure. Okay, well... Contingency. This is the annoying one. Okay, so probably it's hard to say what this is yet. go for a discard. Like, I think at this point I need to play it extremely safe. These are probably kings. They're kings. Between here and here is a king. Alright, now I've identified the deck. We're good. Extra hand, can't go wrong. I'm gonna have to make more kings, so holographic. No, see, I would have a negative joker is probably the only thing I would like not do something for. Okay, so hold on, I'm gonna try and make the queens into kings because I think I'm gonna have to start getting into the territory of um, playing two like the kings twice. This is a this is good. This is a good use of it, because then it makes another jack. And I'll not make another king. Bam. So, like... This is what I need to get into the business of now, which is... Playing two of these hands. Like, I'll play one. This isn't going to make it across the line now. As insane as that might sound, like now, now we actually have to use the kings that I was given. Okay, well this is going to make it across the line no matter what, so I'm adding the chips. Entering a new, a new territory here. <laughs> Destroys two cards. Yes. Queen. It's a polychrome queen, but I guess yes because. If I can... Okay, now, if we look at this now, 840,000. Okay, so what are, what are the cards that we don't want? We don't want... 
I mean, I guess anything. Let's do this. Because I have five hands, so. Dude, this is like so hard. <laughs> Okay, I am going to not play king. I'm going to discard the tail end here. Okay, I'm going to play four kings. Oh yeah, no, now, now, now I actually have to play the kings. Now we, we can't be messing around. I need every single hand I can get. This this has a this has a ceiling, like it's reaching its ceiling. One point one million. The debuff doesn't matter. But now I'm I'm going to be playing Oh shit, that's annoying. Alright, let's start with a debuff king play. Every, every hand is, like, precious. <sighs> That's my last discard as well. Okay. It's not enough. Yep. I think I lost. Um... Okay, uh, what do I do here? I can play three of a kind, but then it doesn't hit that. Like, the reason we're getting good is because of this. So I think what I need to do is just sacrifice this with a straight. It's not bad. And then we got four kings again. This was never going to go, like, the full, full distance to anti-12 but I was curious like how far it would run insane run but this is where it ends three of a kind yeah all right well gg I have gotten to anti-12 on the switch I think one thing that could have potentially s I should have been more on the lookout for was like the thing to get a negative joker to potentially get like a fifth joker that gave a power that may have like caused this to scale a bit better. It's hard. It's like, yeah, but the win was there. I didn't get anything. Oh, wait, yes, I did. Win a run without ever having more than four jokers. After three rounds, sell this card to duplicate a random joker. What? Holy crap. That is... That's a worthy reward. Alright, that'll do it for Balatro. Um, excellent. That last run. End on a high note. Uh... So I'm going to go get some food now, but, you know, I'll be back later. If you're checking this out on YouTube later as well, uh, thanks for sticking around to the end. Hope you enjoyed. If you do want to support the content over there, you can do things like uh, hit the like button, subscribe, or watch me play other things like, uh, I don't know, non-card games, <laughs> if you want. 
Uh, but any of that stuff helps out a lot, so appreciate those that do that. Uh, we'll see more of this soon. Take care.